So I've got a Flash document open, and here you see a drawing of some clouds on the stage. On the timeline, you'll see that there's only one keyframe. But when I test the movie, you'll see that there happens to be some animation. So you might be wondering, how can there be animation in this Flash movie if there's only one keyframe on the main timeline? That's because the animation is inside the clouds. The artwork that you see here is actually an instance of a movie clip symbol. If we go ahead and edit the symbol, this is where we will find all the frames that make up the animation. All of these layers, keyframes and tweens, are inside the timeline of the clouds animation symbol. This is called a nested animation. It's animation that's placed inside a movie clip symbol instead of on the main timeline. A movie clip symbol's timeline is independent of the frames on the main timeline. What this means is that even if there's only one frame on the main timeline, as long as the movie clip is on the stage, the animation inside it is going to keep on playing until it gets removed from the stage. I'm going to take you through the process of how to create this example. I've got the same Flash movie here, except that the animation has not yet been added. So after you've drawn the clouds on the stage, convert each of them into movie clip symbols. Once you've converted each cloud into a movie clip symbol, select all of them together and then convert this group selection into a movie clip symbol as well. I'm going to name this one Clouds Animation. So now, what we have here is one big movie clip that has three separate movie clips inside it. To add the animation inside the movie clip's timeline, let's go ahead and edit the symbol. Right click on it and choose Edit in Place. Here in the edit bar, you'll see that we are now inside the movie clip symbol's timeline. So when we make changes to the timeline here, we'll be editing the movie clip symbol's timeline instead of the main timeline. Before I add the tweens, I first need to separate the movie clip instances onto different layers. A quick way of doing that is to select all the instances and then right click on the selection and choose Distribute to Layers. And now, as you can see, all the movie clips are in separate layers. We can go ahead and delete this empty layer as well. I'm going to animate the cloud here in the bottom layer first. I'm going to add keyframes on frames 50 and 100. Then I'm going to go back to the middle keyframe and using the selection tool, I'm going to move the cloud to a new location right about here. Then add the classic tweens in between the keyframes in order to complete the animation on this layer. Then start working on the other layers to animate the other clouds as well. Once you've completed all the layers, test your movie in order to preview your animation. Here's another example that has even more movie clips that have the animation nested inside their respective timelines. Here's an instance of the sun animation symbol. And this is an instance of the ship animation symbol. This one is an instance of the water animation symbol. When we test the movie, this is what we have. Nesting the animation inside movie clip symbols is a great way to keep your main timeline less cluttered. Instead of having all the layers and tweens and keyframes all in the main timeline, 
you could group all of the related animation elements within different movie clip symbols to help make your Flash document more organized. 